Hey guys, what's up? Okay, so we covered phase 1 PvP sets for Druid. One with higher armor for fighting against melee classes, and the other for fighting against casters. If you're in phase 1 of Classic right now, go check that video out. If you're here in phase 2, or you're curious on how Druids fare in phase 2 PvP, stick around and we'll get right into things. So, in phase 1, Heart NS is your go-to spec. In phase 2, it's still amazing and if you really enjoy the spec, I'd stick it out. However, if you're looking for something new or you're just wanting to utilize your additional spell power gear, I have a spec for you. We'll check out a balanced spec that is pretty nice for PvP and you can heal well in dungeons and raids. This spec is often called Moonglow NS. You see that Nature Swiftness is the main focus of every spec. That's because Nature Swiftness will save you so many times in so many situations that you're really limiting yourself if you choose not to play a spec without it. With this spec, you have the capability of raid healing, farming out in the world, and having fun with balance in PvP. The reason we never take Moon Conform is <laughs> that it's kind of trash. I mean, to be plain and simple, it's just not good. Uh, you can't use Insect Swarm in Moon Conform, can't use Abolish Poison, and you can't heal yourself. You do get a nice boost to your armor and you get some crit, but you're never in melee range when fighting anyone, if you're playing correctly, so the armor really doesn't matter. Also, Moon Conform takes you down into 31 points into the balance tree, which doesn't allow you to pick up Nature Swiftness, which we just covered why Nature Swiftness is so good. So, I would stay away from Moon Conform. I know it's sad because it is such a fun form and it looks funny and, you know, the dance animation is great, but it just really isn't worth it. So, let's talk about gear. The reason why Druids is so strong in early game and they slowly taper off throughout the content is because of burst damage. You're a survival god. You thrive off long fights and slowly whittling down your opponent. As melee build up more attack power and casters have more and more spell power at their disposal, you have to really watch out for burst more and more. This means you need to swing fights offensively quickly so you can get your opponents to start playing more defensively. While druids become more challenging throughout classic, it does not mean that they fall off in terms of their 1v1 capabilities. You just need to play smart, and winning won't be as quite as face roll as it is in phase 1. The great thing about this is that phase 1 will give you plenty of time to practice PvP and get familiar with how to fight and win against certain classes and set you up for just overall success in PvP. So let's talk about the gear. We have access to blue PvP gear and boy is it good. As it gets updated with the 1.110 or excuse me 1.10 stats, but that's going to be in the game right off the bat since of because of the way they're doing itemization. So these stats will feel very strong that you can access early on. This being said, many other players will be pushing for ranks as well. So as a druid, it's such a strong class for open world PVP that you should you should fare well when ranking an open world PvP at the beginning. Now, we will assume you can get access to four pieces, which is rank eight. This is very doable for the average player as ranking doesn't really become a grind until rank 10. So we're running decently high spell power with our hybrid gear. And this really helps us when running Heart NS or Moon Glow NS as the gear basically benefits both of these specs. PvP gear has pretty much all the stats you need. So it's looking really good. Now, as far as the healing gear that you have is concerned, it really depends on your raid progression. If you're raiding weekly with a guild at this point, you probably have most of your tier 1 set, as druids can gear up fairly quickly just because of how many are taken to a raid. Now, if you have most of your tier 1 from PvE, then I would recommend using it as you PvP. Um, this set is really good against classes that have any kind of longevity. So that's, that being said, if you're fighting against a warrior, hunter, rogue, I would recommend playing with your PvP set of gear. Now, if you're facing frost mages, warlocks, paladins, shamans, other druids, or priests, I would definitely wear your PvE healing gear as it gives you higher stamina, a larger mana pool, and a really healthy amount of plus healing. So now that we're done talking about gearing and we know our talent trees, good luck in phase two. I wanted to keep this video brief and just get the information out for you guys uh, without kind of a lot of the fluff, but 
That being said, watch out for a flag carrying guide coming, as well as gearing up for Warsong Gulch flag running, and PvP commentary teaching you how to take these gear sets and talent builds and put them to use. Anyways, love you guys, and see you in the next one.